Okay, so believe it or not, uh huh, I'm married to a woman. Are you really? Yeah. Amazing. Right. Incredible. Anyway, so am I ever allowed to be lustful? Okay. It, like, as in, I'm married, and I it, am. Am I allowed to? I guess view her as a something to sex with okay only sometimes you know what i mean yeah okay okay so to have sexual desire for your wife Mm -hmm. is perfectly fine it's perfectly normal okay and that's lust yeah so remember the 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 word we're trans that's translated as lust throughout scripture is used in it's used in the negative connotation the way we've been framing it okay where it's this idea of sexual desire for someone that's not our, our spouse right because like Jesus says in Matthew 5 Sermon on the Mount if you're lusting for a woman in your heart it says you've committed a it's, it's as if you've committed adultery with her so obviously that's out of the context you're lusting for a woman outside of the marriage context. Okay. Because if it was within the marriage context, you have that lustful desire. That's not committing adultery. That's with your wife. Okay. Okay. And so, um, and and also there's actually there's actually examples in scripture where the idea of this strong desire is actually um not a, a quote unquote evil thing. So the word in of itself, and what I'm getting to is not inherently evil or okay. wrong. But in the way that we've been talking about it, and that's why I said the context we're going to be talking about it is with this idea of sexual desire. Okay, so, so, but, it, like, if there's ever a point where that's all, all I viewed her as in the moment, is that a sin? I think, yeah, I think the problem becomes when your only desire for her is sexual. Okay. So in other words, there's no desire for friendship, for companionship, etc. In other words, you're just looking at her as a sexual object to fulfill your sexual cravings. But is that okay to do for five minutes? To to view her as to have strong sexual desire, and that's what you're. Yeah. <laughs> so like, <laughs> okay. So, but like, if at that moment that's the only thing that my core being wants <laughs> is sex yes yeah is that a problem okay is that sinning in that all right period of time let me let paul answer your question okay so in first corinthians 7 all right 8 through 9 paul says this i say to the unmarried and to widows it's good for them if they remain as i am in other words paul was single and he was saying i think it'd be best if you remain single as well but he goes on to say but if they do not have self-control, they should marry. So this is better to marry than to burn with desire. Okay. And so what Paul's saying, and if you read the full context of 1 Corinthians 7, in regards to marriage, he actually tells husbands and wives, hey, don't deprive one another of sex. You know, um, make sure that you're having sex. You know, that that's part of the marriage relationship. Okay. It's not withheld unless there's this conversation of why it's being withheld. Um, there has to be an agreement upon it, in other words. And so, the so in other words, when when we have a, when we're having sex with our, you know, like when if I'm having sex with my wife, that's, yeah, sexual desire is at the forefront there, obviously. Right. So is that sinning? No, okay. it's not. No. That's the only time that lust is not a sin. Is in the context of marriage. Oh, okay. Yes. So in other words, I can fantasize about my wife, all that, all, like, that's all fine. Okay. All on the table. Okay. Okay. And so. is Does it ever become a problem, though? Like, if that's all you were thinking yeah, and, about and, her all the time. Yeah. And that's why I said when it becomes like your only desire for her. So how much is acceptable? <laughs> You you want a percentage here? Yeah, yeah. You, you like lines and percentages, and so uh-huh. uh-huh. I, I don't know how to get into lines and percentages on this one. Okay, I think that it's again it's part of the marriage, and I will say this too. I think there's I think there's different seasons of this of this of sexual desire, 
in the in the context and the course of marriages. Right. Because of circumstances that are going on, because of sickness that's going on in one of the individuals. How old you are. How old you are, how young you are. I think all of that plays into it. You know, do we have young kids? Do we have no kids in the house? Like, I think all like there's so many things that are playing in playing in this. And so, but so I don't want to get into percentages or those kind of things. I think that it does change. And I think that it's okay if one partner has a higher sex drive than the other. Doesn't mean there's anything wrong or bad. Um, and so I just think that we just have to be mindful that that our our spouse is just is they're they're not there just for sex. Okay. And and I think they need to make like. So you're saying they need that to the, feel that way. The lust can always be there for my wife. The sexual desire can always be there. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And also think about them other ways. Absolutely. 